<laughs> Interesting. Wow, let's take a look at this. Very fascinating. Here's, here's the reason why I find this fascinating is because when I talked to Hans, I don't know if you remember from my conversation uh, months earlier, he said that they had to take out permits to do any work along here. It really made me question his logic because if this has already been here for 50 years, why would they need to take permits out to do regular maintenance. This is SNC, that's the company who I think provides the, the railings, but I wonder who's actually doing the work. Right on the other side of this fence here is the uh, police department. So this is city property. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. So let's keep on going and find out more. Let's find out if there's stuff happening down this way. So just the broadhead portion of the park looks like it's, or part, part of the path is uh, closed off according to this sign. So this area of the path, like I've mentioned before, is the Harris de Loretto uh, bikeway. headquarters construction project is doing oh wow oh wow 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 I just saw something wait till you see this guys remember that fence that used to be this wrought iron fence used to go all the way to the edge. Check this out. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. What was hostile is being made more hostile. Instead of making the public access easement here to go over to the, to the street and provide ADA accommodation, they are building that fence all the way up toward the very edge of the property line next to the Sutro Street Bridge. They're filling it in with concrete pebbles and then they're putting an eight foot tall fence on top of that. This is crazy. Okay, who ordered this? Man, the police must be really scared of the public. Champion Park. Why is the path closed? Let's take a look. Oh, interesting. Okay, good. I, I'm hoping what they're doing here is what I was warning them about, which is this entire foundation here holding this bridge up is crumbling little by little. Right here, there's too much stress on those bolts because this whole concrete thing is pushing in this way. I'm hoping what they're doing is uh, fortifying the, uh, the structure so that way it no longer keeps crumbling and hopefully they'll fix up the asphalt path right over here. Looks like right here they've cut a line with their equipment. So it looks like they're gonna be doing something here. 
technically the bridge is passable, but I have no further need to continue going east at this point. I was actually on my way to Mill End Fabric. Uh, the city council is raising this fence up by another, you know, however high I the... I think we're going to be about right here. Correct. So I was asking for a public access easement for ADA compliance to get to the park. Oh, are you the gentleman that talked to John a while back? I, I talked to the mayor. I talked to the city... No, you uh, talked assist... to like our superintendent a while a back? A lot of people, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just documenting it. I'm going to present it to the city council. Oh, that... right on. Yeah, because okay. th this is stupid. This is so stupid. Basically, Public Works is making excuse after excuse about how come they can't have people walk down to the park from here. They're saying that because there's equipment up there and that there's guy wires there. Those are not high voltage wires. Sorry, I'm talking loud because of the traffic. Oh, no, it's the traffic. You're good. Yeah. Those are not high voltage wires. And if they're worried about guy wires being in the way of public access easements, I got news for them. They're all over the place. Even public sidewalks al alongside streets. You're 100% right. Idle Wild Park, so it's, 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 it's a big excuse that they're making. Yeah, so this is a, na this is a nation, uh, a, na uh, a national park. Right. It, it was part of an act of uh, the legislature back in the 1970s to create a green belt. The city claims that there's no park back there. Even though that's a natural river with a trail. Exactly. Even, even though there's signs over there that say, uh, 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 keep our parks smoke and vape free. So there's a sign that was posted there after 2018 telling people not to smoke in the park. And yet public access or public works is saying that there's no park here. So yeah, it's, it's funny. They're, they're, they're making so it. So you're having fun with that one. A little longer than a few minutes later. Anyway, so that's the whole thing. They're making excuse after excuse about why they can't put a sidewalk here. All I was asking for is an additional eight feet. I wish I could shake your hand, but the hey, thank you very much. What was your name? I'm sorry. Uh, Clint. Clint, nice to meet you, Clint. It's, yeah, I mean, it's a no-brainer. They could have done it. No-brainer. Damn it. 